Okay, uh, thank you for having me. Good morning. I'm uh, Gabor Banyai. I work at the University of Debrecen in Hungary, and uh, I have the privilege to uh, talk to you about uh, our uh, thoughts on uh, strategy for smart specialization uh, integrated with uh, social innovation. Uh, I have to tell you that uh, this is the first time I'm standing and speaking from a podium to an audience this large and uh, right now I'm thinking that taking a penalty in, in the World Cup finals would be a much, much better uh, place to be. Uh, so excuse me if I, I look and feel nervous, I'll try my best. Uh, and uh, I have to tell you that the data uh, on the slides I will show you, uh, I have to thank those uh, data for uh, to uh, my colleague uh, Martha Naudaban, who works at the Regional Innovation a Agency in uh, the Isak Alfeld region in Hungary. So uh, what you see there uh, should be perfect and uh, should have a good, uh, should uh, communicate uh, well uh, based knowledge for you uh, and may maybe and hopefully will make up for my uh, uh, nervousness. Okay, so uh, just to give you a brief overview of uh, where I'm from and uh, where this region is. Isakalföld region is uh, situated in the northeastern part of Hungary uh, and uh, is basically uh, a less developed region, just to uh, be honest. And uh, it consists of three counties, which you can see here, Hajdú Bihar, Jásznagy Kunszolnok, Szabolcs, Szatmár, Bereg. And I'm cr I come from Hajdú Bihar, uh, where the uh, capital is Debrecen, the second largest city in Hungary, and uh, is home of the University of Debrecen. The neighboring countries are Slovakia, Romania, and uh, Ukraine, who is not part of the U European Union. Thus, we can say that the region is the eastern gateway to the European Union with uh, a significant education and research capacity thanks to uh, the University of Debrecen, which is uh, the largest university if we don't count Budapest, the capital of Hungary. So if we count Budapest, it's in the top three still. Uh, the total area of uh, the region is 17,749 square kilometers and the population is about uh, 1.5 million. It is also the second largest region of the country uh, but only provides 10% of the Hungarian GDP. From this, you can imagine that uh, we are uh, uh, not one of the leading regions in Hungary and also not in the EU. Uh, in my presentation, I would uh, like to go through five of the six steps of formulating the S3 strategy for the region, just to give you an overview of uh, what uh, the agency and the university has been working on and uh, how social innovation can be integrated into the strategy, uh, giving you some examples. Uh, but hopefully I will learn more from the other uh, speakers what to do in, in our region. Step one, the analysis of the region. Uh, I'll show you some graphs. I'll try to be as fast as possible. Um, the ranking of the region, as you can see, there are 20 regions uh, on this uh, uh, slide. Uh, Isak Offord, Offord, where uh, I come from, is the 20th. This means that uh, compared to the EU average, 25% of the gross domestic product uh, we reach the 25% 20, of the EU average gross domestic product, so uh, you can say that we have some economical issues. Um, in Hungary, every third person lives below the poverty line and 1.2 million of them uh, live in extreme poverty, especially those uh, regions or counties uh, that are disadvantaged, which uh, Isakov is part of, uh, have even more serious problems with uh, poverty. And uh, other speakers have uh, been talking about poverty, so uh, I, I think that I'm not really out of the context yet. Uh, social exclusion, exclusion is strongly linked to circumstances related to poverty, and in Hungary today, the degree of segre segregation, gener general exclusion from significant areas of social life is a serious social problem. 
uh, to achieve social inclusion, which we can find as an example in the guide to social innovation, can be achieved on the one hand uh, by focusing on eliminating the reasons underlying poverty and preventing this, its development, whilst on the other hand, on reducing poverty-related disadvantages. Just to uh, show you some other data, from the 270 or 71 regions uh, in the European Union, the GDP per capita in asak offered is the 260th, uh, reaching 10,100 euros, which is 41% um, compared to the EU 27 average. So you can see that uh, 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 economic development uh, is, is uh, um, um, the main focus of the region, hopefully linked to social innovation, and hopefully social innovation will help are the economic uh, uh, development of uh, the region. The employment percentage for ages 20 to 60, 64, excuse me, uh, in the 27 is uh, above 68 percent. In Hungary, it is above 60 percent, and in the Isak offered region, uh, is uh, around 55 percent, which shows you that uh, segregation has. Uh, real financial and uh, economical issues as the working uh, age group uh, is uh, only 55 percent of the working age group is working at the moment in the isak offered region and i have to say that debrecen where i come from is um, is in a much better uh, position uh, thanks to the university with its uh, educational and uh, uh, health care capacity Step two, the governance, uh, which I will talk to you just shortly about, ensuring participation and ownership uh, in the uh, RIC3 uh, strategy. Uh, regions are not really used in Hungary. Uh, regions only exist on paper and in statistics. Uh, for some reason, Hungary is uh, focusing on counties, and as, uh, that's, that is why I mentioned that uh, there are three counties in the region of isak um, and uh, governance is at national level and at different ministries. Different strategies, uh, strategy creation processes are uh, running par parallel and on different scales, as there is the county level strategy, uh, S3 strategy is at regional level. There is a municipal level for the three largest cities in Hungary, and uh, uh, I just uh, wanted to mention this because Debrecen being the second largest city is one who has a municipal level uh, creation process, and of course the university, although linked closely with all other uh, actors, uh, has a separate strategy uh, process. National coordination of regional RIC3 strategies is done by the National Innovation Office, which delegated the design of the RIC3 to the regional innovation agencies where my colleague Martha is working. Uh, the regional innovation agencies are actively interacting with each other by forming a network and of course uh, interacting with uh, other uh, individuals uh, in the uh, region. Uh, the regional innovation agencies as the uh, Innova asak Alfred Regency uh, has all organized interviews, workshops, focus group meetings, and uh, uh, this is uh, the way they are keeping uh, uh, in close contact with the University of Debrecen also. Step three is the uh, elaboration of an overall vision for the future of the region. Uh, the RIC3 strategy vision for the asak offered region is locality and vitality, which means by 2020 the region of asak offered will, well hopefully, will become such a rural environment which building on its resources, characteristics and traditional values is capable of boosting an internationally competitive, sustainable, knowledge-based econ economy. Uh, the overall objective, the uh, boosting of uh, international competitiveness uh, of uh, the knowledge-based economy is really important and uh, as you can see it is uh, partially and mainly economical well-being which uh, can be closely linked to social well-being and we're hoping that the two will come uh, and, um, and uh, ensure the well-being uh, 
of the region together. Specific goals described in the RIC3 of the region are developing the capacity of innovation, developing the innovative environment, and encouraging innovative cooperations. Uh, the region uh, is uh, relying on the University of Debrecen for uh, these specific goals as uh, it has uh, the infrastructure and the knowledge that can be used and spread and disseminated all through the region. Step four is the identification of priorities, uh, which uh, I won't read out loud, but uh, as you can see, the horizontal priorities of the S3 in the region are from one H1 to H9, uh, securing the human resources of the innovative economy, stimulating the innovation-oriented entrepreneurship in the region, um, dissemination of innovative approaches, uh, supporting the development and realization of RDI programs, and stimulating innovative forms of cooperation. Uh, what uh, I would like to spend some more time on is step five, the policy mix for the horizontal priorities with examples of social innovation. Um, from the guide, uh, uh, we learned that there are some examples and tools for social innovation. I think that in our region, social inclusion uh, should be the main focus uh, because, uh, of course, uh, as, we, uh, can, as you can see in the guide, social inclusion uh, is important because of the large number of people are, uh, are excluded from economic and social progress. There are several forms of disadvantages and uh, dig digital illiteracy is also a problem. Uh, but I have to tell you that, uh, um, and uh, I haven't made any research into this, but uh, I uh, I'm pretty sure that these problems that the EU is facing is much bigger uh, of a problem, uh, I can say a huge problem in the region I come from, and social inclusion, that is, it has to be uh, the main focus uh, uh, of social innovation integrated into the uh, RIC3 uh, strategies. Uh, just to give you a few examples, uh, in the RIC3 strategy we have a program of developing uh, the R&I uh, infrastructure for further development of the info communication infrastructure, developing the competencies of info communication of the workforce of SMEs. Well, the proposed measures are support for the dissemination of broadband internet and the development of wireless internet infrastructure. This means that uh, in the region we still have uh, pro uh, the, the, the digital illiteracy and the infrastructure and the IT uh, systems are not, uh, cannot be compared to uh, EU standards and this uh, will, in my opinion, help uh, social inclusion a lot. Uh, if we can uh, uh, build, develop the infrastructure for IT services. Developing vocational and higher education in line with the market demands, securing the HR of the innovative economy. Um, I don't know how much you know about my country, but uh, there are some serious uh, higher education reforms. Um, we, we are uh, having less and less students uh, uh, who, uh, who can come to universities, which is, uh, I can tell you, is not the uh, direction that we should be heading for. But uh, at the moment, we are trying to focus our attention on those who can come to the university to have, uh, to, to uh, gather knowledge that can be used by uh, small, medium-sized enterprises and what the market is demanding. Uh, so. Uh, we're trying to focus on that, uh, and uh, this could help social inclusion. Right now, uh, we have the typical problem of sociologists working in McDonald's uh, as they cannot find a proper job with their degree. So, uh, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer, so uh, I can say that for myself also. We have too many lawyers in Hungary. I don't know if you feel the same way in your country, but uh, we definitely have too many lawyers in Hungary, and. Uh, uh, 
we have to uh, react to the market demands and the changes in, the, in our country, in our higher education system also. Uh, of course, uh, the financial and uh, economic problem of uh, the region means that small and medium-sized enterprises have, uh, don't have the capacity to uh, hire uh, enough uh, well-trained uh, uh, university graduates, so the program for helping SMEs would uh, um, finance uh, uh, the wages for graduates for up to two years, which uh, I think would be, uh, will be a good idea. And of course, talent management, scouting, supporting, and consulting will be another uh, um, innovative, uh, um, um, innovative, uh, Innovation, uh, which uh, can integrate social uh, innovation and inclusion as uh, giving grants maybe to talented young uh, fellows who cannot afford of moving to uh, a larger city and going to universities. Um, other uh, in a, um, social, innova social innovation can be integrated in stimulating the innovation-oriented entrepreneurship, helping innovative startups and uh, innovative products and technologies to enter the market, uh, helping in uh, producing the prototypes, supporting for, uh, support for testing, providing technology for qualification and, uh, or classification supporting pilot projects uh, with microfinancing uh, and uh, incubation. Um, as I mentioned, incubation, incubation uh, will be uh, the main focus for the university as it has the infrastructure uh, and it has uh, the knowledge that uh, is needed uh, in, uh, in this uh, social innovative tool. Uh, and. Um, probably and hopefully we will be able to actively involve private equity investors in these uh, programs to help finance uh, and the, uh, the, the program. Uh, open innovation labor laboratories, which uh, I think uh, uh, is another tool for social inclusion as uh, we can have young uh, researchers or any young people from the region uh, going into these laboratories, working there for up to three to th 12 months uh, with the guidance of uh, experts and, uh, and, and, tr and there they can try out their ideas, uh, innovative ideas which uh, could uh, help uh, smart specialization and uh, in innovation in the region. Uh, generating and demonstrating innovative building energetic solutions uh, could be, uh, in my opinion, a, a good help uh, to those um, rural, rural parts of uh, the region or, or to villages where, uh, where people are moving out uh, of, uh, into the cities and help maybe uh, people and inhabitants staying in these places, um, which is, uh, uh, as the guide mentions, uh, part of uh, urban regeneration. And uh, hopefully, well, I'm hoping uh, that maybe we can just uh, not just stop this uh, uh, migration to the largest cities of the region, but um, uh, turn it around and maybe young people will move back to the countryside if the infrastructure there uh, will be uh, adequate for them, not just uh, energetic solutions, but as I mentioned, IT uh, systems and uh, uh, broadband internet would be uh, of a great help in these regions. Of course, uh, there have been, uh, um, we've been working uh, and the innovation agency has been working on this, uh, not just for the last uh, few years, but uh, in the last several uh, couple of years. And uh, as uh, we're trying to continue in this innovation process uh, in communicating, in science communication, disseminating innovative approaches, which also uh, would help the social economy, it would uh, be helpful for regional strategies, but also, okay, uh, thank you, uh, it could help social inclusion in uh, this part of Hungary. Uh, SME research programs uh, would uh, 
as I mentioned, microfinance and incubation would help these uh, smaller and medium-sized enterprises uh, in innovation uh, and uh, developing integrated land management systems to help settlements with shrinking population to keep and attract inhabitants is another prior, uh, horizontal priority which has a focus on social innovation. Um, I am not sure if I had uh, said anything new to uh, you, but uh, uh, what, as, as we were thinking about how uh, social innovation can be integrated into uh, this strategy, um, I think the main reason and the main uh, the focal point would be that uh, innovation and economic development in these regions uh, have been uh, working for several years. Uh, the effectiveness is uh, probably not the best, as far as I know, and uh, we are hoping, and I hope that including uh, the uh, instructions in this guide and including social innovation into the RIC3 strategy and, and any other development strategies will help um, uh, help uh, these developments uh, to be more effective and help to involve uh, more actors and more people in the region and uh, hopefully by 2020 we can say uh, surely that the vision that uh, we have, uh, that I have described, uh, became uh, a reality. Um, as I mentioned, and uh, as I, uh, probably you have all heard in the news uh, about the uh, health problems of Nelson Mandela, and uh, of course uh, what he said in Make Poverty History in his speech is uh, of course not, cannot be related to the problems we have in the European Union, but poverty is a real huge problem in the region where I come from. And uh, in this case, I think that uh, his words are uh, eligible to uh, show you today. Um, just uh, two more sentences. Um, I think that economic development is, should be the main focus of uh, our region as we have uh, several uh, social exclusion problems and uh, uh, poverty issues, but uh, we cannot just focus on economy and uh, development without the social innovation because, uh, as I told you, I think uh, the whole process will be more effective and the development uh, efforts will be more effective if social innovation is integrated into not just the S3 but all strategies of, and uh, developments that uh, will be coming to my region in the next uh, seven years. Thank you very much for your attention and your patience and uh, I'm sure you will uh, hear a much more exciting lecture.